In this video, we will look at um, backing up and restoring Windows DHP server. Um, in this example, this will be on a Windows Server 2016. So on my DHCP server, I have, this is a lab, so it's pretty small. I've got two scopes, and I've got uh, one lease and one reservation. So I will back this up, and then I will restore this on another server. And you'll see that it will restore, um, it will restore everything that is configured here. So this is really simple. Um, and by default, Windows will back up um, the DHCP server scopes every 60 minutes. And it puts those system 32. And there's a DHCP folder. And back up. So by default, it will back it up every 60 minutes. Um, but it, <clears throat> so we could take this folder here and copy it over to the new server and restore it. Um, but we'll walk through doing a manual backup. So to manually back it up, we'll just right click on the server name, backup, and we'll just put this into a new folder, DCP backup, OK. So now, jump over to the other backup server and restore this. So let me grab the backup. And what's in, well, let me walk through this. So I'm going to put this on the desktop and we'll just attempt to restore from a folder copied on the desktop. So you can see I've got a completely different DCP2 is the name of the server. It's a brand new install, so it has no scopes or anything. So I'm going to restore backup from the other server and it should bring in all the scopes, leases, reservations. So I've got that backup on the desktop. I'll select the folder and it's going to give me a message about permissions. I'm going to click yes. Yes, it's going to stop and restart the DHCP services. And I get this error. So what I've found out, and it is documented by Microsoft, is you have to take this backup and put it in the backup folder. So when you do a restore, you'll notice by default, it wants to default to this backup folder. So when you put the backup from the other server anywhere else, you're going to get those errors. So you'll want to take your backup and copy it to that folder. I'll just paste my backup in here. Yes, continue. So now, let's try the restore again. And we'll select the backup folder. OK. Yes. The base restored successfully. So come in here and you can see that the scopes has restored the scopes. It 
bring over the two leases, the reservation, the other scope. It brought over um, everything from the from the other server. So um, one thing that you'll probably want to do is um, use a your backup software to um, either use a backup software or move those backups to another server. Because <clears throat> um, if your server crashes and you're not able to access this backup folder, then it's pretty useless. So I would recommend using your backup software to um, take a backup of that DHCP folder to an off-site off, um, or um, network share. That way in case the server crashes, you have a backup of that off of that server. Um, so that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching.